Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? Good? Energy, good, good, I like that. My little dating profile picture, you know. I'm Sani Youssef, I'm the founder of Hybrid. I'm a Google developer expert for web technologies as well. I have a little project I'm working on called UI School where I'm the lead instructor. More about that a little bit later. And I'm a huge fan of the Avatar movie. Like the blue people, not... So, it's all about devices. Today, our apps run on different devices. Different devices. We all have like multiple devices, right? Either you have a phone and a laptop or things like that. And if you notice, if you have a, the same app across devices, the app actually doesn't really, the functionality doesn't change. All that changes is the experience. It's basically like this. So this is Spotify. Everybody knows Spotify, right? And this is Spotify running on multiple different environments. But the main experience of Spotify is you want to listen to music. So you start to think, because when we approach the wall, what do we do? We think, we innovate. Is there a better, more efficient way for cross-platform development? The first thing is, Every modern device today is capable of running web technologies. Bingo. So how do we achieve a uniform mobile experience at this level? Drum roll. Da -da 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 -da. This guy. Ionic comes into play. Exactly. It is a web SDK for creating mobile applications. It's open source. It's built with HTML uh, technologies, web technology, HTML, CSS, CSS, and JavaScript. Suppose Android, iOS, and Windows Universal is first class is, and I'm not, the key word there is Windows Universal, because Microsoft makes us believe that, you know, Windows Phone is no more, it's just one experience everywhere. So what does the stack look like when you're creating your app? You have your code, which you write with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and then you use the Ionic, um, what's it called, um, uh, SDK. And that currently is built on Angular, and that's changing pretty soon, but the current version of Ionic is built on Angular, so you can reach out and use any of the Angular features. And of course, everything is inside of your web view, which runs in your native container, which is why I always say Ionic apps are native applications. No, I'm not trying to deceive you. They are. The web view is a native component. We did not create the web view. Who's using Ionic? Because everybody wants to know who's using it. More than 4 million apps have been generated, 110 plus countries that have communities. Microsoft, Airbus, Diesel, Dow Jones, ETC all use Ionic. And these are some of the apps they've built. OK, to get started, simply just do npm install, you know, ionic start, my app is the name of your app, and then you have a bunch of templates. They give you templates like blank, tabs, Google Maps template, or you can just put a GitHub URL or somebody that created their template and just like steal it off them. You CD, and you use the command ionic serve, and that's it. Who can guess which one is Android? See, which one is iOS? Exactly. I haven't written any code yet, but we can already see that there are glaring differences. Placement of the header, the font size, the shadows. This is what the Ionic SDK already does automatically for you. It knows the mobile platform better than you do. We solve mobile because we have iOS, iOS Android, and Windows. And we can, uh, uh, of course, I could just do Ionic. Next, let's solve web now. So for web, it's all about adapting to screen size because different people have different computers. There's some people that just don't want to buy a new computer. And what do you see is I just have a grid, Ion grid. Uh, very similar to like bootstrap style, an ion row, an ion column. So what I'm doing here, I'm saying, by default, take 12 spaces, because it's a 12 space grid, uh, base grid. On a small device, use the entire 12 spaces, because on a small device, I want to make sure I have only one column. On a medium device, use six spaces per column, so you're gonna have two spaces, right? On a large device, use four spaces per column, so you're gonna have three, because four times three is 12. On an extra large device, use Three spaces, so you're gonna have four columns because it's three, 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 three. And if you can't find anything, just default back to 12. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Woo! So suddenly this guy is much usable now. What about PWA, right? What are actually PWAs? PWA stands for Progressive, sorry, Web Application. It basically means an, um, a web application that can run offline. Let's see the demo, shall we? So luckily, this is gonna be the easiest demo because Ionic by default actually supports service workers. So we're just gonna to go to the index.html here. I'm just gonna uncomment a bunch of lines here and that's it. And I'm gonna save this guy. So I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna disconnect from my Wi-Fi. And then we go back. Let's refresh this guy. Voila. Did you see that? Refresh again. We're still online. This is really cool.